Hey guys, welcome to day two of our technology week and today we're going to be talking, like I said, and watching a couple videos about our last two subjects, which is mannequins, specifically the IC, and microchipping. Why do mannequins that spy on us creep us out? She's not as lively as Kim Cattrall in Mannequin, but she is watching you. There are cameras everywhere. They're like cockroaches. For everyone you actually notice, there are hundreds more that you don't, though they're not screwing around the walls yet. Given their ubiquity, it's rare these days to hear a complaint about cameras in public places, such as stores, unless they're hidden in a fitting room or bathroom. But last week, much of the media was in an uproar over store cameras. Why? Because they were placed inside mannequins. In the lead up to the holiday shopping season, Business Week reported that bionic mannequins are spying on shoppers to boost luxury sales at five unnamed companies. The $5,130 IC mannequins from Almax have cameras embedded in their eyes that use IBM Cago software to record the number of shoppers, checking out window displays and clothes, how long they lingered, and their age, gender, and race. They don't keep any images of the customers, just the aggregate data about who's been considering blowing money on cashmere sweaters and $300 jeans, but it may not stop there. To give the IC ears as well as eyes, Almex is testing technology that recognizes words to allow retailers to eavesdrop on what shoppers say about mannequins attire, reports Business Week. This is the second time I've heard a business float the idea of recording customers' conversations in order to better advertise to them. The desire for better marketing may just be the biggest threat out there to your privacy. The dummy cams left many an observer unsettled. It's spooky, said a fashion expert quoted in the story. Network World called it creepy surveillance. Everyone freak out, screamed a headline at Jezebel, as if Black Friday weren't creepy enough. The mannequins aren't going to come to life and start killing people, Doctor Who style, I hope. So why do we find it so much creepier for the cameras to be inside the dummies rather than unobtrusively in the corner of a store? I pulled a few of their experts for their takes. Here's the condensed versions of what they had to say. So why do mannequins like this, the IC mannequin, creep us out? to have a little more fun now talking about mannequins watching us right now but there's actually a really uh, a real reason why we're showing you this it turns out store mannequins where you're shopping this holiday season and they're looking at us right now biana yeah it's about trying to track what you buy and who's buying it so you're back with more on this bizarre and i'm somewhat frightening yeah uh, it's, it's, new a, it's, a bit, it's a bit creepy but it's technology at work mannequins aren't just there to show off merchandise anymore now they can this is really creepy now they can also help retailers <laughs> gather important Important marketing information so I hit the stores to find out just how these mannequins work and whether customers are buying into this new technology with the holidays just days away Americans are spending countless hours in stores perusing running even fighting for that perfect gift so would you believe that the solution could be right before your eyes well actually hers Meet IC, the latest high-tech weapon in the retail wars featured at the recent Association for Retail Environment Showcase. She uses facial recognition technology to gather information on its customers. She's like something lifted right out of Minority Report. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to The Gap. How does assorted tank tops work out for you? Basically, there is a camera inside the eye, and the camera is tied to a face recognition software. So here's how the IC mannequin works. Let's say a customer walks through the store and sees a dress that he or she likes. Well, as the customer is observing the dress, the mannequin is observing the customer, making note of everything from their age range, their gender, even their race. IC is made by the Italian company Almex, one of the world's leading mannequin manufacturers. Their lips are sealed when it comes to which of their clients are using IC. And while they wouldn't let us take a peek inside IC, they did give us a tip. Have you told 
the difference between this and just a regular mannequin? In the pupil, you can see the camera. Ah, course, there are the holes pupil. in the yeah. pupils. These dummies don't come cheap. They cost $5,000. But Almex is hoping that stores will be willing to pay big bucks to get an edge, buying into the idea that the more they learn about their shoppers, the more they'll sell. That's the way that technology is going to advance. Before you go home, your refrigerator will be able to tell you that it's out of milk, so you can stop on the way instead of finding out later. At H&M, which does not use the IC mannequin, reaction was mixed. It's kind of like they're invading your privacy. Like, I think it's kind of smart, actually. Go back to the drawing board, because the camera and the mannequin thing is just creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> She's not alone. Well, the mannequins use facial recognition software that's similar to that that's used by police and law enforcement. However, I see the company that makes these mannequins says that they profile, they do not profile customers. They don't collect any of the information. They don't store it. So it's just to have for this, the, the retailers. Still unnerving, it nonetheless. Is, it All right, but good to know that it's out there. All right, Bianca, thanks so much. Human microchipping, would you consider having an implant in your hand? Find out a little bit more. And while you can see that this is happening in the U.S., in some countries is already more prevalent. When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. Do you like Dutch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all on chip, so I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrain procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards, which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. At this tech fair, a chipping event for those on the cutting edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain... I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. I feel less human. I will feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, and it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped, but biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it will be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Stockholm. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out.
So after you have a little background, what do you guys think? Should companies be allowed to track customer shopping or other preferences without their permission? Have we gone too far with technology? Or is it worth the benefits? It's up to you to decide.